continuing on this quest. Going back with our intelligence, continuing on the quest. How's your little mission going? I have the intelligence report. Let's see it then. You hand over the report. Man reads the report. Yes, yes, this is very good. Well, very well then. You can join the Phoenix Gang. I am Straven, one of the gang's leaders. Nice to meet you. You now have access to the inner sanctum of the subterranean hideout in our weapons supply depot around the front of this building. Attack the Examine. Known for his light fingered qualities. Lots of thieves, not a lot of stuff to talk to. There's some chests. Probably nothing in them. More thieves. They're just begging to be clicked on. Running in front of my mouse. One of these days I'm gonna, whoops, sorry. Find half of a shield which you take. Broken shield. Examine shield. Half of the shield there were half. Now I have to find half a shield instead. There was a sh chest in here, and I want to search the open chest again. I know they said there was nothing, but... Found the part of the shield after researching. Greetings, fellow gang member. I heard there were some cool treasures in this place. Any suggestions where I can go thieving? Where is the Black Arm Gang hideout? Um, cool treasures in this place. Oh yeah, we've all stolen some stuff in our time. Those candlesticks down here, for example, were quite a challenge to get out of the palace. And the Shield of Arath, I heard you got that. Whoa, whoa, that's a blast from the past. We stole that years and years ago. I don't even have all of the shield anymore. About five years ago, we had a massive fight in our gang and the shield got broken in half during that fight. Shortly after the fight, some gang member decided they didn't want to be part of the gang anymore, so they split off and formed their own gang. The Black Arm Gang. On their way, they looted what treasures they could from us, which included one of the halves of the shield. We've been rivals with the Black Arms ever since. Where's their hideout? I want to sabotage them. That would be a little tricky. Their security is pretty good. Not as good as ours, obviously. But still good. If you really want to go there, it's an alleyway to the west as you come out in... As you come in, Southgate. 
so come in the south gate and turn west. One of our operatives is often near the alley. A red-haired tramp goes by the name Charlie. He may be able to give you some ideas. Thanks for that. Any suggestions where I can go thieving? You can always try the marketplace. Lots of opportunity there. All right, let's go back and talk to Charlie and see how to get in. There's some change go. Do you know where I can find the Black Arm Gang hideout? Sure, I know everything there is to know about this city. I'd be happy to tell you for 10 gold. Sounds fair. Where is this notorious Black Arm Gang? Have their headquarters down the alleyway to the west of us. Talk to the lady named Katrin. Katrin. But don't upset her. He'll... But don't tell her I sent you. She's pretty dangerous. Get a job. Oops. You start and I hope your news falls off. this place. It's a private business. Can I help you at all? I heard you're the Black Arm Gang. Who told you that? I'd rather not reveal my sources. Yes, I can understand that. So what do you want with us? I want to become a member of your gang. How unusual. Normally recruit from our gang by watching local thugs and thieves in action. People don't normally waltz in here saying hello, can I play? How can I be sure you can be trusted? Well, you can give me a try, can't you? I'm not so sure. Think about it. Thinking about it. I may have a solution, actually. Our rival gang, the Phoenix Gang, has a weapon stash a little east of here. We're fresh out of crossbows, so if you could steal a couple crossbows for us, it would be much appreciated. Then I'd be happy to call you a black arm. Sounds simple enough. Any particular reason you need two of them? I have an idea for framing a local merchant who is refusing to pay our very reasonable keep your life pleasant insurance rates. I need two phoenix crossbows, one to kill somebody important, the other to hide in the merchant's house where the local law can find it. If they find it, they'll suspect him of murdering the target for the phoenix gang and hopefully arrest the whole gang, leaving us the only gang of thieves in Baroque. Brilliant, eh? Yeah, brilliant. So who are you planning to murder? I haven't decided yet. But it'll need to be somebody important. Say, why are you being so nosy? You aren't with the law, are you? No, no, just curious. You'd better keep your mouth shut about this plan. Or if you, or I'll make sure it stays shut for you. Now, are you going to get those crossbows or not? No problem, we'll get you two Phoenix crossbows. Great. You'll find the weapon stash, stash next to the temple, due east of here.
In the restaurant. Is the temple that they were talking about this altar thing? Not seeing it. Maybe upstairs. Why are they going this way? I did not see it. Here's the weapon stash, that's good. Talk to the weapon stash. Hello. Hello, fellow Phoenix, what do you seek? I need a weapon. Master weapon. Ready to look around. Leather boots. There's a crossbow, and there's a crossbow. Mm. Not the strongest weapons, but it'll do. She was there. She is. got those crossbows. I have give her crossbows. Now you're a Black Arm Gang member. Feel free to enter any of the rooms of the gang house. any of the gangs but it doors but it won't let me go through that door there's a cupboard you find the other half of the shield I did it I found the shields can I put them together Fuse them together. Examine the stored shield. You complete the shield of a rock. Present it 
to King Raoul in the throne room in the palace for the result. That was like right here. Not climb down that. Why did it do that? There's King Gold. I was right. Talk about the shield of a rope. Arrow. Majesty have come to claim the reward for the return of the Shield of Arad. Show the reassembled shield to the king. My goodness, my father set a bounty on the shield many years ago. I never thought I would live to see the day when someone came forward to claim it. Twelve hundred coins was a fortune in my father's day. Hope it serves you well in your adventures. The Museum of Baroque shall profoundly display, proudly pro display the shield once again. All right. Said I got some more keys, but I don't see how... imprisoned by the monks. What? Wholly unacceptable. I order you to do all you can to claim him. I was doing that anyway. I keep up the game. All right. What else? Once upon a slime. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Return the giant top hat to Peter. Yeah, let's do that. It said it marked it on the map. Why is it not showing it? I thought it was like... Not marked very well. Tell me that red dot isn't it. Quick to teleport to this. I'm gonna go here and see what that red dot is. I'm pretty sure that's not Peter, but I'll go. Nah, this thing right here. It's like a tree. Pretty close. Fine. Throw 
bruises. Cabbage. You. Oh, it's that hunger guy again. It's a never ending fight. Cross wilderness wall. In the wilderness, other players can attack you. No graves to them. Lots of items. I probably should put the bank. Maybe that's what that was. Mark. All right. Where was I? I was looking at this, and I was trying to figure it out. Okay, so this is supposedly in an area called Remington. And there should be those giant slimes right down in the middle of the city. So Remington here. Maybe on the map. Well. Ah, it's way over here. Okay. This looks better. So Remington's over here. Maybe that was the marker. Uh, the nearest teleport to here. Oh, right here. Bingo West. There's the slime. Look for Peter. Is Peter? It is. Peter, I got the giant top hat you asked for. Excuse me? You say our slime boys a giant top hat? I did, yeah. For dear sake. What part of get him a wee top hat did you not get? It's gonna look like a buck Egypt in that thing. Peter, sometimes you say words and I don't know what they mean. He's gonna look daft, so he is. Right, you listen here now. Take that right back to Thessalia. I want you to give her a right tongue in. Peter. Would you wise that, wise the bap, it means a telenor. Oh, right. That thing's ridiculous. What kind of <clears throat> size of top hat is that supposed to be? Okay, I'll take it back. Let's see if she has a smaller one. You better. Find the Salia in Baruch. Right 
the cancer. Dahlia, it is. Talk about one spot for that slime. Tell me it worked. Well, well. He sent me back and said it's too big. Too big? How can it be too big? It's for a massive slime king. I know. I don't really get you either. What does he want me to do about it anyway? Once you give me a smaller topback. Regularly sized. But I specialize in giant top hats. He knows that. Um, I think that means you don't have any smaller ones? No, I do not. Okay, well, thanks anyway. I'll go tell Peter the bad news. Sorry. Wait. Ava. I have an idea. Ava's been building a shrinking machine. A shrinking machine. Yeah, maybe you could use it to shrink it to a normal size. No, uh, that just might work. Where can I find it? She was setting up the machine in East Furrow. It's one of the buildings south of the bank. That's not far from here. Just be careful. Don't blame me if something goes wrong. Believe me. Oh, nothing. I'm sure everything will be fine. East Baroque, south of the bank. He means south of the water. Oh, the bank. Here's the bank. Let's go down here. So I'm gonna take this and go east of it. Drinking machine. Maybe. Eva, there we are. There's the shrinking. Hey, they're not normal to come for me to get visitors. Hey, Thessalia sent me. It says you might be able to give me a hand. Oh, Thessalia. He's a great companion of mine. Friend of Thessalia is a friend of mine indeed. That's great. So I'll spit it out. What am I doing for you? Well, you see, I got this giant top hat. That is indeed a very large top hat. Probably the second largest I've ever seen. Is it for me? No, it's actually for a slime king. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, yeah. Fortunately, it's way too big. Too big, you say? Yep. Oh, oh, this is perfect. I could shrink it using my machine. I was hoping you'd suggest that. Oh, this is fantastic. To be the first one to test it. First one to test it. Is this safe? 100% certain that it is probably very safe. Maybe. Uh oh. Uh, how do I use the machine? It's simple. You configure the control panel and you're good to go. How do I configure the control panel? You pull some levers, push some buttons, not too complicated, you'll figure it out. If you do it wrong, it'll tell you how many of the inputs you got correct. Or it'll explode. I think I'll tell you about the inputs. Okay, I hope so. Just keep fiddling with it and eventually you'll get what you want. Thanks, I'll give it a go. Open the control panel of Ava's tricking machine. Alright, panel number one. Silver. Temperature. Cold. Number two. Red. 
Mode of functionality. Decrease. Apply voltage. Yes. Control level. KSL. You got three out of six correct. Gold. Gold. Red. Decrease. Yes. Two, so that means it was silver. Silver. Medium. Red. Decrease. Yes. Give us up. You got three, so... Is a machine of mine causing you some trouble? No, everything's fine. I'll let you figure it out, friend. Silver. Hot. Red. Decrease. Yes. Yes. Four out of six. Okay. So hot is correct. So silver, hot. Now let's try green. Decrease. Yes. So that was wrong. Hot. Red was correct. Try increase. Yes. Hey, increase was right. So then I got five out of six. Oops. I did not mean to say that. One more left. I just gotta remember them. Okay, silver, hot, red, increase, no voltage. You successfully configure the shrinking machine. Place the large top hat in the machine. The machine smokes, spits out a much smaller top hat. And I talked to Ava and say, did it work? Sure it did. Splendid. Now we know it works. How would you feel about shrinking yourself down so you can ride around in my pocket? Um, I'll pass. Let me know if you change your mind. I better get this pat, pat back to Peter. Peter, you better be happy with this hat. I've got the Wii top hat here. Would you look at that? That's class. You give the top hat to Peter. Let's get it on our boy and let them get down to Corton. Mayor, handsome. Peter affixes the top hat to King Slime. The king slowly makes its way over to the king. That's it, big lad. I think it's working. Is it? No! Fuck, son. I 
Aw, his poor heart. Wee's heart's broken. I was sure it was gonna work. It's almost as if this was the stupid idea to begin with. Excuse me, I've had enough of your negativity. Clearly there's nothing wrong with this plan. There's just something else around here that has taken her fancy. <sighs> sure, go have a chat with her. Maybe she'll tell you what got her so distracted. Do you seriously want me to go and have a conversation with this giant slime monster? I am deadly serious. Why does it not surprise me? Look, you just dander over there, give her a friendly poke and say, Here, love, what's the matter with you? She'll open her wee heart to you and let you know what the crank is. This is never going to work. Ah, don't knock it till you try it. Off you go now. doing this. What did you want me to say again? Um, uh, hello love, what is wrong with you? A piece of goop sticks to you as you move your arm. Gloop. Gloop, 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 gloop. You can examine the pink poop. You poke the queen's time. This time your hand comes back poopless. What did she say? Nothing useful. I don't speak slime monster. I just ended up with this clump of slime. Oh. Maybe we can use that. How? Well, it's just a piece of queen herself, right? I mean, she's drawn to something. It'll make sense if a piece of her slime would be too. Hmm. It may actually be onto something. You see, not just a pretty face. Use a clunk of slime around the place and see if she being drawn anywhere in particular. Also, here you can have my favorite bucket, so you can you never know when you might need it. Hands you a bucket. It can be really useful. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Got another bucket. Alright. Well, I'm not exactly sure how much longer this is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in the video, and we will continue this next time. Thanks a lot for...